If you don't already know what's up with the hair, don't ask. But today we have episode number three of Tour Series Trials with your favorite pro that you don't even know yet, but now you do. Joy Buckets. I've been playing for a while. I have a very unique style. I feel like I'm just, I don't throw very far. I'm just very consistent, very controlled. I know my game. I play within myself. For all of you comments, when I talk about like wanting to get to the pro tour and how you need a 500 foot golf line and everyone's like, no, you don't. He is the epitome of no, you don't. But he's also the outlier. So if you're training to get there, try to get that. Unless you have all the perfect skills that Joey Buckets has being a 1031. We're going to be playing today with his last year tour series disc because this year we still have to decide and come out with. K1 hard, loots. You playing with the gold or you playing with the pink? Oh, I both. Okay. I'll play with the pink. I green. think gold and green were all sold out, you said, so we're yep. gonna be throwing the pinks, pinks. today. Yep. I think the numbers are like nine, five, negative one, two, so you know a bunch of discs like that. The Dynasty from Infinite, like Undertaker, but you used to throw Undertakers, and now you're obviously Casta, and you said that this is a very different disc to those. Yes, it's very different. It's farther flying, and the rim the rim feels a little bit like a, a farther feeling disc. It almost feels like a 10 speed. Mm. I mean, it just has so much glide. Like I found whenever I first got on Castaplast uh, last year at the beginning and I got these loots in and I was throwing the loots, I was throwing my other distance drivers. I was noticing the loots was going just as far, if not even further than the distance drivers. So Dang. lots of glide. Perfect. So loots to differentiate these, do we have a... Yeah. Do you have a, a pen? Obviously, you guys know that uh, if I win, well, if you watch before, you know. If I win, I get to keep one of these. If I yeah. lose, I have to buy it full retail price, support his tour, and give it away to you guys on Instagram post. But this is going to be the Joey Bedanza disc. And then uh, he'll have his. So hopefully, I don't get smoked. But this is your home course as well, right? Yeah, we'll get on the whole one and talk a bit more about it. But oh, I'm a little, I'm, I'm nervous right now. not going to lie. Today, we're out here at Sandy Creek Disc Golf Course. We're playing the OG 18. Now, there's 27 holes now. I honestly, every time I play with Joey, it's just like, so consistent that if I don't lose by more than like three strokes today, I'll be pretty happy to be frank. But I'm excited to throw this now. Does this kind of flip up or how does it fly? Uh, it's pretty straight with a little stability. Okay. And then the normal cable loops are just straight the whole time. All right, much. if it's your stamp, you throw first, otherwise me, and then you enter the hole. Okay. Please be you. No! Wait, 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 you just said if it's my stamp. Yeah, then you throw first, otherwise it's me. So I'm throwing first? No, it's the bottom. It landed like this. Oh, I thought you meant like the bow dancer. Oh, That's your stamp. I appreciate you giving me the stamp already, but yeah. hole one, par four, at the end of that tree line, we can barely see the band of the basket. What do you think, like 520? Yeah, it's really not that far. Okay. Like Here's an aggressive shot up the middle, OB left, obviously. Nice. It's perfect. Yeah, that flies good. Yep. Flies good. I think I'm going to throw a backhand. Get backhand. aggressive. It's not like there's a road there. Backhand hyzer. Oh, straightened out on you. Skip. Oh, that's trouble. Uh oh. It just goes, the loots just go so far. Normally I throw like <laughs> a nine speed that's not a loot <laughs> on the shot. All right. Straight. Are we just Straight. playing just whatever mark pickup? Yeah, you don't need to worry about too like, right. technical of a mark. I have a tight gap uh, limb in the way. So I'm not really thinking about the limb, just trying to hit this gap and give myself a long putt or just honestly hit the gap. It's the main goal. That was the limb. I mean, it hit the gap. That's yeah. That should be good for par. That was good. It looked like it was gonna be really good. A little touch back in. Don't go too far left. Ooh. Sit. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. It's a little short, but it's fine. That's that's in buckets range for sure. Yeah. Uh, can I go ahead and tap? It doesn't matter. Yeah, if you want to like take a stroke or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Go to your home. No! I needed that. That's not I how I start. that. All right. Both taking pars. All the way down there. You kind of go over and like turn it, which is riskier. There is also a fence. There's Should a fence line like right, OB? Left. Left OB, okay. Right is fine. They call it 470. Oh, okay. So it's farther. Yeah. Okay, but so it's downhill. you just don't want to fade out left. That's got to hold. That's, that's in the dog park. Oh, no. Yeah. That's like over the fence now. Now it's over the dog park and it's... Oh, that's, oh, I see the fence now. Yeah, the fence is kind of, it's oh, kind of scary. Close. I thought the fence was that way. Nah. Uh-oh. Oh, that's too much. That's All right, going in right the between our two shots is really good. Set out to the tree. Yeah, I did not think that this fence was the closest it was, so we're oh. for our best. Such a responsible golfer. Well, I, it's not even like I had even a small gap. Yeah, this is weird. I would never throw this disc here, ever. It's the only way I have a chance. Skip in. Or sit. Please sit. 
That's probably that's 20 putt. feet, maybe obstructed a little bit. This is the only way I have chances against these pros is I throw weird discs in weird places all the time. And then they just like are sensible and throw good shots. Oh, gee, I like it. Check up. Oh, I Check. missed that putt before, baby. There we go. Nice putt. So what's your plans for the tour this year, man? Uh, for sure, full US swing. So all the pro tours plus eight tiers in between. Nice. And there's a possibility to go to Europe for the Swedish Open, the Kroko Open, and the European Open. Possibility, not sure yet. Awesome. You Thanks. really just want to miss the big tree either side. Um, if you barely miss it left, you're probably like 30 feet left. If you miss it right, you're probably parked. But there is also that middle tree. So it's kind of just like, and oh yeah, that's miss. Oh my. Yeah, that's parked. That's, that's what you call a lucky shot. Nice. Man, these are really yeah. straight. Uh, yeah. I almost wonder if they're closer to the Romans that I've been liking to throw. A little headwind. All right. Nice. Finally, we got some birdies. This is hole four. There is a right gap, left gap. I think right gap is the play, like a forehand flex. There's almost like a sneaky backhand flex shot, but it's not as open, not as clean, so. Ooh. I didn't even think about the low stuff. It needs to flex. Oh, oh. That's, a, that's an awful kick. Actually, if that went far enough straight, it's, it'll be fine. <laughs> Can I throw a yarn? Yeah. Oh, it's really overstable. Yeah, yeah it's beefy. <laughs> Just threw a yarn as well. It's a little bit more overstable than those zones are. A little faster, more overstable. Kind of nice like flexi approach disc. Yeah, just put it, just throw it over Brayden's head, honestly, on some hyzer. Take a par. Let me look. Get up. Ooh. Oh no, don't put it on hyzer. Hole five. Um, pins right up there, it's a nice par four, that's 470. You kind of want to aim over to the right, right of that big pine tree, and then just, it's a simple, simple sh up shot from there. Catch some air. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. Oh, may maybe not the worst. Right just don't look. Simple, could be a forehand, but my forehand is really not comfortable, whole trip. Get around it. That'll putt. Ah, oh, putt. A little nose up today. It's like a little Annie. Again, I would never throw this here. Wow. That's yep. smooth. That'll work. <laughs> oh, good run. Giving up two through five is not looking good for my chances for the rest of the round. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, uh, it's not like I'm playing great though. Yeah, what's that say about me, Joey? What's that say about me? So how do you feel your play style really developed? Well, I actually play a lot in Florida. So my play style is very Florida-like, even though I live in Georgia and now like all the time I'm in Georgia. What does that mean to you, Florida-like? Low ceiling. I know how to control a disc like late flight, straight and low. Mm -hmm. And then when I came to Georgia, it wasn't much different, just more elevation. Mm -hmm. Kind of the same thing, but less yeah. low ceiling. I feel like you're cutting that it's, it's, tree line close. Yeah. I keep thinking this is gonna flip more than it will. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it doesn't really flip. Like if you no. want it to, like mine, I threw it flat. I think I flat. got the numbers in my head for no reason. I'm all over it today. You tapped me. Ugh. I don't know what I'm expecting, honestly. This week's been a little different than I anticipated. That doesn't mean we can't give him a run for these last 12 holes. So you got three strokes now. What percentage chance do you think you don't win? Uh, Beyond. 12. 12? As of right now, that's higher, That's higher than go, I thought I would go, have. Going into the round, I would probably say like 28-ish, maybe. No. Honestly, yes, that's how I feel. That makes sense. Up to the right, what do you think? What oh, does it play? 400. 390? Yeah. 390 up the hill, easy. Don't throw it over the fence, okay? <laughs> that's not possible. <laughs> Let me just take my 30 seconds here. If it was not the loots, I would just throw it, but. Okay, it's not stopping. Just send it. Get on Annie, dude. That's not bad, though, man. Just sit. That's Don't really go down the bad. hill. Ah, dang. Kind of almost 
feels like it's gonna turn into a left right up there, so put a touch of Annie. Oh. Dude, I do not trust that thing right now. Yeah. What yeah. am I doing? That's whole seven, baby. <laughs> That's whole seven. Dude, the whole seven is tough. I just need to, I just need to actually turn one over. Have a nice, easy. Oh! oh. I didn't expect that skip there. Wow. Well, we'll have it tap in at least. I don't know if I should hop or not. <laughs> yes, yes or no? A hot putt? You ever heard of a hot putt before? Yeah. Okay, jump putt. Should I jump or no? <laughs> Do it. That's bad. All right, I got in your head, officially. You're, you're on the ropes now, buddy. No, the hop was the right play. That was a little better. A little snack break. It's called eating on a lead. You ever heard of it? Left to right wind. 340. The ideal wind. Ooh, no skip. Door's a little open here. That definitely was a little greasy. Probably wants us to shut this forehand because the wind will help it over, but I don't think I won't turn it over. Nice. Needs a skip. Yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah let's go. I just need to eat canes, and then I can remember how to throw a shot. All right, we got a nice little advertisement here for the Joe Buckets loots hanging out by the pole. He's got a look, though. And that's why they call them buckets. I gave it the height. Oh my gosh, what a guy. That's what I needed. We're headed down there. No Part mandos. Three. No mandos. I really thought I had one, that's so frustrating. I like to hug the backside of this tee pad right here. Yeah. Highs the whole way, skip it. I like it. A little short. Yeah, it's like in the circle short. Got to do a similar shot. Oh, no. Go! No touch. That's... Oh, I thought it was perfect. I don't think the mullet's working, guys. Yeah. Bro. That's another Joey B. Lutz, but it's gold. Yep. Maybe I just need to be throwing that one. That was a heartbreaker. I thought I was going to sneak inside for a second. That was a 25-footer. Oh, my. K the K3 plastic, baby. <laughs> the oh K3 my plastic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then there were five strokes. Yeah, I'm not even gonna look at this guy over here. I'm just gonna look at you, you know? The camera? But no, you. I'm not gonna look at him. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I can't, you yeah. Know? Yeah. Right. He's too intimidating. Here, you know, take this. I'm, take this disc. I'm not intimidating. You're a very intimidating person. He's big and scary. I big, scary, I don't know how I'm gonna do strong. Either. How are you gonna be traveling with this guy? Oh, I have no I idea, bro. Dude. I'm gonna have to like pray every night that it doesn't kill me. Oh my gosh. 300 feetsies. Straight ahead. Who knows what's about to happen? Ma. I mean, that's a good shot. It's, it's, it's the water's not that high, right? I think it might be. I think that might be in water. I'm gonna have to get. We're gonna just have to get barefoot and get in there. I you think that's in the water? Yeah. Oh my god. Because right past the logs, it kind of drops down like a foot or two. Yeah. Short. Play it short. Don't worry. Tactical play. Oh gosh. Eh, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to see where these guys lay. <gasps> this is such high water right now. There's some crazy flooding recently. This is crazy. You're still, you're still good though. Uh oh. <laughs> hey guys, don't airball. <laughs> Great spot. Yeah. And good four, good four. It was 12%. Now you got six strokes. Eight holes, six strokes. Yeah, I'm thinking 98% chance. 98%? You win? No, I'm just kidding. I'm oh, man. man. I mean, I, I thought mean, it'd be like 99 and a half, but I appreciate I'll you giving me that too. Yeah. If you hit your line, you're good. If you don't, mm -hmm. you're not. Yep. So you kind of just want to go far and left. Both of them are like 445 on the sign. It's a little more than that. I mean, it's uphill, but. Oh, yeah. You're going to pure it now, dude. Do that. Is that perfect? Yeah. Whenever, whenever Joey goes, yeah, that means it's pristine. <laughs> That's still birdie rule. A little left? Yeah, but the left side is way better than the right side. Oh. Way better. Unfortunate. Joey, me, right in line, just, I got some scrambling to do for the birdie. No. Oh my gosh, man. Right there. Ching. Ah, a little low. Oh! oh! 
I don't know what that hit. There's no tree. You're it must not hit even a roof. able to not birdie. It's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> not even close to the basket. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. There's a chance. He'll still make that, honestly. Let's be real, guys. That's rough. Our competitors I'm... Fall. Just miss stuff now. Joey just walks over to my light. He goes, oh, this is way worse than mine. This has not been a great showing today. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, so similar result either way. There it is. Well Thank done. Through a good shot. Another 50, 60 footer here. Dang. What a putt, dude. Thanks. <laughs> bogey, bogey. Not losing any strokes yeah, somehow. If you're, if you're gonna bogey, it's the hole. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm gonna try to ace, I think. Hold. Go in. No, nah, it's short. Good shot, though. Jeez. A little long. Perfect hexy hole. Good gap hit, brother. Oh, oh. bad kick. Oklahoma smoke shot. Too high. Man. Ah. Birdie. It's hole 14, one of the signature holes. It's a par four. You hit this gap, you kind of follow this path, and it goes up to the left. Not very long, kind of eagle bull, but initially you just want to hit this gap. That's the most important thing. <laughs> oh, that needs to fade. Okay, it hit something. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's getting down there. Yeah. I like that. That's awesome. Yep. Don't hit those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's A1 position. Let's go. This is why this course is called Tandy Creek. Oh, well, well. Well, well, well. I never had a chance. That was kind of saucy. It was never a chance. Oh. Kind of got a stab for the two. 10-4. Oh, keep going. Ooh. So this hole 15, it's uphill blind. There's two tee pads. They're both blue and white tee pads. So if you're playing casual round, you can kind of just choose whichever one you want. Um, we're gonna play the left, I think, both. Or actually, we can choose if you want to play, play the left. Right. This, I mean, I trust okay. it. Yeah, let's both. I play mean, left. if you see kind of what's in front of that tee pad, yeah. I don't think I want to throw through that. That happened in like the last like month or two, and we <laughs> just haven't moved it. It's just straight, maybe slightly left. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Left, but like, Fair that's as good as I can do the loops. Oh, I see it. Yeah, from there it has to just slightly drift right. That's very good. Very good. Should play that, T-Pan. What were we doing? I've thrown some like impressive shots today in the wrong direction, but impressive nonetheless. <sighs> left. Not bad though. No, nice. I, I'm playing good today. And then there were nine strokes. I don't know if the mold's gonna stay. It was like the sides of my head are too open to the wind and the back of it is and I'm getting bad wind reads because of it, you know? We can blame it on that. Another signature hole here, super tight. Really just straight, you just wanna hit the hillside. Where you can see through the gap, the hill, it's like 20 feet. Oh. Oh no. Just sit. That's gone. I've never seen that oh, kick. No. Me neither. No. Get through. Oh no. There's that lake bit. That's gonna be fine actually. I see it. You're alright. I think I just play it like right here. Like if I went to be over the water right there. Yeah, I just play there. So this is 16. We have 16, 17, 18, and I'm just gonna yeah. do this for the rest of them. Gold, buckets, loot. Actually I'm gonna throw a forehand to kind of play the hillside a little bit. <laughs> this is still scary. <laughs> Kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. Roll down. Roll down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now sit. Where are you going? Okay, that's fine. Where the heck did the disc go though? I swear it was, didn't, like I saw it hit and I saw it sit. Yep. All right, Braden's giving us a new one. Yeah, I'd say just, just do it from there. Okay. Okay. Easy four, five. 
He's a five. Well, we both lost our discs on this hole. I'm gonna try to forehand though. Forehand flex can also eagle. Forehand flex can actually like park it. So that's that's what I'm gonna try here. Sorry, I thought I saw somebody. Oh, it did not flip. I thought being a fairway driver, I would kind of wobble it a little bit, but I didn't. <laughs> you're too smooth, Joey. <laughs> you like want to keep turning the whole way? Yeah, like a really late fade if you're, yeah, with the forehand. Oh, yeah, we, too we, straight we as well. Thing. That's that's fine. It's, it's a light par four. It's a little forehand Annie. Shouldn't shouldn't be too much trouble here. I like it. Nice shot, Joey. Just keep one turn. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, we got a clean. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. Put the day ball in the circle. I need to start throwing some more. My infinite disc that I brought down here. Luckily, we're about to be starting. Actually, you guys might have already seen this because this video is going to be coming out later. There will be some content of me throwing well before this video of me playing terrible comes out, but we're going to be doing a three round off season open between me, Joey, and Braden. Frankly, I anticipate losing that by about three strokes around on average. That would pretty much correlate to our ratings, if not a little bit worse than that. Braden's 1017, Joey's 1031. Definitely feel like I'm playing way below my rating today, but one disc that I don't know. Trying to figure out, not always gonna be ideal, but this disc is money if you're looking for a faster, kind of stable nine speed. It reminds me, it's kind of like my Roman, but the Roman might be slightly more overstable. This does have glide for days, and it feels, I mean, it's cast of blast plastic, it feels really good. I'll have all of cast of blast linked down in the description on Infinite's website. Definitely go follow Joey, and there'll be places to buy tourist use as well. Bomb par four. What is this guy, four, 490? <sighs> yeah. 490, oh, I was about four. to just throw a different disc. What He's trying to throw his ghoul. He's like, I already beat him like 12 holes ago, why don't I need to throw this thing? Oh, like slight Annie. <sighs> Woo. That's down there. It's a putt probably for you. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a Joey Bucket's putt. Maybe. Oh, oh, I turned it. We'll win. No. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's fighting. Oh. Down there. Holy cow. Yeah, this thing kind of bumped. Go in, drop, dang it. Oh. Had to try to throw it in, you know? Yeah, yeah. Score doesn't matter at this point. Okay, so this is a putt. long putt. Long, long putt. That's a no? Ooh. No chance, man. Don't throw it on highs or you goober. Noise. Since I lost that disc, Joe was nice enough to let me buy another one, so just we got it back on there. I just put my thumbprint on it, so. Looks like now if you have it, you can steal my identity. We'll get Joey's reaction. Glad one of you guys are getting this. This is a good disc, I just can't believe I threw it so bad. I found it. Did you lose it? Yeah, the one that's in the freaking water. Oh, <laughs> I'll probably get that one back. What, anything you wanna say besides your domination? Oh, <laughs> no, nothing. I mean, it was my home course and it was a lot of fun. Thanks for playing with me. Yeah. Instagram. Bye.